Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Daily Recap. Today is January 30th, 2018. I am Breaky CPK, of course, and we got some stuff to talk about. There wasn't any events that happened yesterday, necessarily. Of course, it's been now a couple days since the ESL1 Genting wrap it up. We still have a couple days before the Star Ladder Invitational Season number 4 takes place, our next land on the Dota 2 Pro Circuit. But in between here, we do still have some worthy news, including some pretty big roster announcements coming out so we'll kick it off with arguably the biggest one i think it's safe to say a new team announced named echo international and look at the roster right here i mean this is something talk about international this is probably one of the most diverse international teams we have frankly ever had on the dota 2 competitive seed we have forev in the off lane uh kaiser as the carry schwan as the support anna from mid and soxa as the four support would have to be my guess there. So, these five players coming together, forming Echo International. How this even happened is kind of beyond me, to be frank. But, uh, you know, we got a player from uh, from Korea. We got a couple of players from the EU. We got a player from Australia. We got a player from China. Literally all over the world. And the, the, the biggest concern off the bat is, you know, communication. Obviously, you assume they're going to all try their best to be able to communicate in English. I believe Shuan is able to do so I, I i believe i've heard about that in the past so it, it shouldn't necessarily be that big of a deal but you know people are making fun of the the, the situation there um I, I but yeah communication i'm sure they'll have down not necessarily an issue um i will say on this team you know when, when it comes to star power clearly they have it but we are talking about a player in schwad who has been out of the competitive scene for a little bit anna has had a rocky season so far he has made some appearances here and there but of course uh, hasn't really been able to find a stable roster hopefully this is that uh you have kaiser similar situation who's kind of been moving around quite a bit even was on planet dog for a while there uh, aka Hellraisers, before he eventually moved on. Forev, same situation with Immortals. So the, all these players were on teams before, uh, even Soxa, of course, but, you know, the stability wasn't necessarily there. So now we're coming together uh, with this plethora of players. It really is going to be interesting. Apparently, they're going to be playing in Southeast Asia, actually, which I, I find just the most hilarious of it all. You know, you're dealing with two uh, EU, a Chinese player, uh, Australia, I guess, which technically uh, could play in that region anyways. And then, of course, Forev uh, from Korea. So... It, it, they, they probably had their choice of where they wanted to play. And uh, from my understanding, they are going to be playing in Southeast Asia, from what I'm hearing at least. So, uh, Echo International, how they're going to be able to perform is going to be very interesting. Again, events starting here with qualifiers. I know the Dota 2 or the... Uh, the Dota Asian Championships, Dota 2 Asian Championships, the qualifiers for that do start here shortly, and several others. I'm sure they're going to be looking to participate, and we'll get a good eye in terms of how they're looking right off the bat. But, you know, definitely a team with potential in Southeast Asia especially. I wouldn't be surprised if they start making a splash sooner than later. Sticking with Southeast Asia, actually, another announcement coming out. Of course, TNC, we already knew, 14378, uh, he was removed from TNC. No longer part of the team, which was which was a bit of a shocker for me at least. But uh, who was their new player going to be? Turns out it's Armel. Now Armel has history, of course, playing with Clutch Gamers, and most recently he was even supposed to be part of the Team Admiral squad, which included Demon and his new squad there with Boombox, RR, and Gabby. You know, somewhat uh, Clutch Gamers of uh, of the recent history and, and Execration. Even I want to say some mix of players there, but. Uh, Armel now joining TNC, so that kind of leaves Admiral in an interesting spot. They're going to have to find a replacement now as far as the mid option goes pretty quickly here. Uh, but Armel's going to be playing the new mid, and Cuckoo of TNC is actually moving to the five support position. That is pretty unheard of. A mid main player, and, and a really good mid main player. Cuckoo's a fantastic player in the mid role. He's always been entertaining. I loved it, watching TNC, especially last season, and the run into TI7 there. I, I was always impressed by him and Raven, especially the cores on TNC, and what they were able to do. So... That's a little bit surprising for me to he hear how that will work out. That's the curious mark for TNC. But making that move, Armel will be taking over the, as the position too, though, uh, for the team of, uh, of TNC, as you see here with their official new roster. So there's another update. 
Uh, a team announcement update, and this one's a little bit shocking too, in the sense that a lot of people were leaning towards Plan Animal Planet was going to become Digital Chaos. It turns out that's not the case. Iceberg uh, is actually the team that will sponsor what was formerly known as Animal Planet. Iceberg is an esport organization in Canada. There are several players from Canada on the team, so in that perspective, it kind of does make sense. But they must have offered, you know, them a, a better deal would have to be my guess. I mean, there's no way there wasn't at least the talks of them being part of the new Digital Chaos squad. This is a very strong roster. Mumi Enterbrow, Kit Rack, Ritsu, and Aoi 2000. And they've already proven some success. They haven't qualified just yet. Again, they got very close, ultimately losing to Optic Gaming in a best of five for what was the uh, Catalyze qualifiers, if I'm not mistaken there. Uh, but a team with potential in the NA region. And so Iceberg Dota 2 team is now formed. So we're going to label them as Iceberg moving forward right here. Digital Chaos, who they're going to still pick up. Maybe a team with the likes of MSS and SVG. I know that they've been running with a makeshift roster recently. That would definitely have to be the new leading candidate for them. We'll see. Team Empire, one quick announcement on them as well. Uh, they're going to be playing a Star Ladder event coming this weekend. It was actually announced on their Twitter. They are going to be using a stand-in, however. Nyx is actually going to be standing in place of Silent. Uh, I, I believe Silent was their, their carry player, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check on that real quickly right here. Um, if I can even find Empire. Um, yeah, Silent was their, was their position one carry player, so... Uh, as it says it here, and I quote, Team Empire will play Starlighter with a stand-in. We are undergoing a process of deciding on new roster, and we will play with Nyx instead of Silent. So, what that really translates to me is Silent is no longer going to be part of the team. Uh, moving forward right here. They're going through some roster issues. Nyx stepping in for the time being. As far as Nyx goes, his history, most recently a part of M19... Uh, he was part of Comanche before that. Not necessarily, you know, the biggest name player in Russia in the CIS region, but uh, is still a, a solid choice, of course, as far as replacement goes uh, for Silent, especially what seems like pretty last minute here. So you got to think there was maybe a little bit of issues with within the team. Whenever you see something like this happen, that usually is what comes up some behind the scenes that we, we may not ever really get to know uh, in terms of... Uh, what the ultimate reasoning was for this but empire making a move going into that starlight event which again we will preview come tomorrow's daily recap hopefully uh i say hopefully because once again guys literally in about my flight leaves in about three hours from now uh here and i'm gonna be flying out to kiev once again i'm flying out to kiev i'm actually gonna be doing coverage for what is the wesg north american main event and it turns out i actually just found out i wasn't even aware of this we're actually also going to be doing coverage for the South American region as well. So uh, I say, I say, we. I'm going to be flying out to the Starlighter Studios in Kiev. That's the whole point why I'm going there. It is a little funny how I'm going to Ukraine to cast a, a North American event, right? But uh, that's just how the the whole broadcasting's working, and they want to have the studio coverage. So flying out to Kiev, going to be casting both the NA and even the SA region for WESG. And I'm really excited for that. I, I'm going to be joined by Grant Grant, Lacoste, and Gar uh, Gareth, excuse me. I believe it's just going to be us four. I'm not, I'm not 100. I, I believe that's the case. There might be another one. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Anyways, the point is, it's, it's going to be exciting. Again, I fly out about three hours from here. Uh, so with that in mind, obviously I'll do my best to get a daily recap up still. Um, depending on the internet at my hotel, from what I'm researching, it seems like it should be fine. So I should be able to do it from there as far as the live stream. If I can't do a live stream, then of course, worst case, I just record it and I'll get it uploaded as soon as I can. But my plan is, I definitely still plan to do daily recaps, um, for these, uh, for while I'm out there. Now, obviously the days that I'm going to be casting, again, I can't guarantee it's, it's going to be some busy days. It looks like. Uh, as far as it's, it's pretty full schedules, I, I just got the format and the schedule as well. Uh, they're going to be best of ones all throughout, and it's just back game after game after game after game. And so, obviously, we're going to be rotating, I'm sure, as casting goes. So maybe when I'm not casting, of course, I can uh, go ahead and do a daily recap. But uh, that's the plan. So no 100% guarantees, but I am going to do my best to make sure to still continue daily recap all the way uh, while I'm out there in Kiev. And then I'll return on the 6th, actually. Uh, what is next Tuesday? So I'm, I'm going to be gone pretty much for a full week here. 
and uh, I am excited. You know, it's 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 obviously a great opportunity. I'm, I'm excited to check out the Starlighter Studio. Never been there before. Never been to Ukraine. I've heard it's a beautiful place as far as Kiev goes. Um, it, it's the timing is a little bit unfortunate concerning you know my wife being pregnant. We're actually getting close here. Uh, the baby baby CPK is due at the end of the month, so. Crossing the fingers, hoping that nothing happens while I'm gone. I'm sure it won't, but uh, that, of course, is in the back of my mind as well when I'm traveling like this. So, uh, but no, super excited. Thank you guys for all the support. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you guys from Kiev on my next day of the recap. Until then, guys, have a good night.